Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Connor, and today I'm going to be doing my February book haul <laughs> part two because I already did a February book haul, but then I ended up acquiring a ton more books, as well as my one-up boxing for February. So first off, I ordered some of the things off of the shortlist for the BookTube SFF Awards because I'm one of the judges, so I need to read some of the books so that I can talk about them in the live shows and vote and everything like that. So the first thing I picked up was Descender Volume 1. Descender Volume 2 was nominated, but I wanted to give the first one a shot first to see if I will like it and then I'll buy the second one if I do like it and want to continue but this one seems to have some some pretty awesome artwork it's more sketch in style like there's a lot of like stray lines and everything like that but it seems like something I will enjoy I don't really know too much about this but I've heard amazing things so hopefully I will like it. It seems like these people come to Earth, like maybe some aliens, <laughs> I don't know, but I'll let you guys know what I think when I do read it. I will leave a link down in the description to the booktube SFF links and everything like that, the Tumblr, the Goodreads group, all of the read-alongs for all of the booktube SFF books will be run through Goodreads, and so if you want to chat with me about them, then you can do that on Goodreads when those read-alongs are happening. So I won't be reading this one yet but I will be reading it in time to order the second one, which is what we will be discussing before that read-along starts. Again, links down in the description where the read-along schedule and everything is posted. I also picked up Monstrous Volume 1, which is actually rather large, and this one has some awesome art as well. It seems a lot more my style. So I'm more used to this style of artwork, so I will hopefully like this, but it seems very... I just, I have no idea what it's about. So this follows a girl named Micah, maybe, is that how you say that? Half-wolf, and she has survived this war that's happened between humans and the Arcanics. And it seems like she's going to be a half-breed. It seems like she's both things, and so she's hunted, and she's hunting the other race or whatever, the bad guys. Uh, I don't know. It seems like she's going to have superpowers, and the monster starts to awaken. So we'll see what I think about this one. This is actually being read in March. So this discussion is open and you can go in to the Goodreads group and discuss it with me and all the other hosts and all the other people that are participating and it's just going to be a fun time. So check it out. The next thing I picked up is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This, this is one of the nominees for the young adult category and I've heard really good things about this. I actually saw Victoria Schwab at BEA where she was talking about the concept of this book and the world building and everything that she did for this and it made me really excited for it. So when it got nominated I was pretty pumped and I think that I'm really going to like it. It's basically the concept where immoral actions and breaking the law and stuff like that have a physical consequence and every time you do something bad a monster is born. So it follows a monster who wants to be more human and it follows a human that wants to be more monstrous. And I just finished A Darker Shade of Magic recently so I am ready to jump into another Victoria Schwab book. I have not got the second one of A Darker Shade of Magic yet but I will be getting that soon and by the time this video goes up my review for the first book will have already been posted, so I'll leave that up in the card symbol and down in the description if you want to check it out, but I will be reading this one at some point. I also picked up Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. This is about children that go to other worlds, like Chronicles of Narnia style, going through portals and going to Alice in Wonderland adventures, and, and then they come back to Earth and they have to adjust to living a normal life, and a lot of them don't want to, and a lot of people don't believe them when they say that they've been to these other fantastical places. It's nominated in the short fiction category, so I will be reading this one. I think this one is also in March, so if you have already read it, or you're planning on reading it soon, Go ahead into that Goodreads group because we'll be discussing it there. I also picked up The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This is the first book in the Broken Earth series. I don't even really know what this book is about, but I heard amazing things about it last year. It also won the Hugo Award last year. The second book, The Obelisk Gate, has been nominated for the Best Adult Science Fiction and Fantasy category, so I will be reading this one probably sometime in March and deciding if I want to even order The Obelisk Gate, which I probably will, but I wanted to give the first book a shot first before buying two books at once. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna check this one out soon. <laughs> I am all over the place. <laughs> and the last thing that I ordered for the BookTube SFF Awards this time is gonna be Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. This is the adult science fiction and fantasy book that we're reading in March. Again, 
Goodreads link down below. I've heard this one is a very weird science fiction book, like you don't really know what's going on and I don't think you're really meant to know what's going on, but a ton of people have liked it and it seems very space opera and everything like that. So hopefully I'll be reading this one soon because it has to be read in March. Well, it doesn't have to be. You can always jump into the read-alongs whenever you want to. Like if you read this book in April, I think the, the discussion group for this book will still be open and you can always just jump in and, and leave us your thoughts. But this one is not very long, so hopefully I will be reading this one in March and discussing it with everyone on time. Now I'm going to do my 1UpBox unboxing. 1UpBox is a monthly subscription service that sends you a t-shirt that is in your size that you can't get anywhere else, as well as a bunch of other nerdy and geeky things. It's like $10 a month plus shipping, so not expensive at all. I've really enjoyed it. I really like the t-shirts because I wear them just to like do yard work and stuff. And I've actually gotten compliments on those t-shirts when I'm out in public, so yeah, really like those. They usually send you some type of sticker and they're always themed. This isn't sponsored or anything, they just send me the boxes to open for you guys. So this is what it looks like when you open it. So there's a Suicide Squad vinyl figure in here. You don't know which one you get until you open it. I love Suicide Squad, by the way. Look, get out of there. It's not a dog box. Ooh, I always feel weird opening stuff like that. Okay. My oh god, they really don't want you to know which one you get. So I got this version of Deadshot, which is awesome. So that will be going next to my comic books. The next thing in here is going to be this other box that has a mystery square on it. This reminds me of, like, the... Mario things where you have to jump and hit it with your head to get the prize. Oh cool, it's a tie! It's a Mario tie that has like the ghosts like Boo and some Goombas and everything like that. So that's awesome. See, so that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. That's the first time I've gotten a tie from them, which is pretty awesome. Nookers, what do you want? This is not a box for you. This is a box for me. Come say hi. Pa come. Pause up. Come here. Pause up. Come here. You don't get anything for just walking around. Next thing in here is going to be the little poster, so it tells you what everything is in the box. So the tie was called a super necktie, and the Funko little vinyl figure was Funko Mystery Mini Suicide Squad. The sticker that's in here is going to be Team Rocket, which it says prepare for trouble sticker, but it's definitely Team Rocket from Pokemon, which I was big into Pokemon when I was a kid, so this is absolutely hilarious. Prepare for trouble, make a double, all that stuff. Awesome. They sent a little button, which they always send a button that has this month's theme on it. So this month is enemy themed. So it says, one up, February 2017, enemy. And that's what the little button looks like. The next thing is this little monster's luggage tag. I don't know anything about this. Once I do, I will be passing it along to someone that does like whatever this is and putting it on their luggage so that it's easier for them to find. Hello, Nookers. I will get you a treat now. And the last thing in here is going to be the t-shirt, which I don't know what it looks like. It looks like this. So it's just a big Batman t-shirt, which is pretty cool because I like Batman a lot. I actually don't love the movies very much, but I, I do like the comics. Like, I like the comics a lot more than I like the movies. I think it's because I hate the Batman voice. Yeah, I'll actually wear that one a lot more than some of the other ones I've gotten. So, yeah, awesome. If you want to check out 1UP Box for yourself, I will leave links down in the description where you can do so and, you know, fiddle around on their site and see some of their previous boxes and everything like that. Now back to the books. For Valentine's Day, I got a few books, which is absolutely awesome. The first book I got is going to be The Avatar, The Promise. This is the manga continuation thing after the TV show before The Legend of Korra. Kara. I can't remember her name. It follows Aang after the last episode of the TV show and some of his adventures and everything like that, so I'm really excited to get to this. I have not read it yet, but I will be doing that soon because I really enjoyed Avatar. It was one of my favorite animes. Big fan. Gonna read this. Also for Valentine's Day, I got One Punch Man Volume 5. I have not continued the One Punch Man series yet. I've read the first two volumes, but I haven't read three or four yet. I will be reading it at some point. I've been focusing on Death Note right now, and then I will be moving into other series after I finish Death Note and do a review on that. So look out for when I <laughs> read One Punch Man. I also got Barakamon Volume 1, which I think is a slice of life manga, which I have not read very many of those yet. I'm looking forward to getting to this one because I've heard this one is a, is a pretty good one. This one's by Satsuki Yoshino, and One Punch Man is by One. It follows this guy that moves from the city to an island, and then he's kind of an outsider, but it just follows his life on this island, and I guess interacting with this kid. Nook, no! You already had a treat. I love you, puppy, but not right now. 
So I'll let you guys know what I think about this when I get to it. And the last thing I got for Valentine's Day, which I wasn't expecting books or anything like that, so I was pleasantly surprised. And that is going to be Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. I feel like a lot of people are thinking this is like a, like a more exciting book than it is, but it's really just him telling Norse mythology. So it's published by a publishing company that publishes textbooks and stuff like that. So I'm not expecting too much entertainment factor. I'm expecting to get the stories and learn about them in a more like narrative form but I am pumped for this because I love Neil Gaiman's. So yeah, I didn't even have this on my wish list, and so just perfect. <laughs> now we're moving on to books that I bought myself. The first book I bought is Ship of Destiny by Robin Hobb. I have a copy of this already, but it's the book club edition, and I want the regular hardcovers because I have the first two in this edition. So I went online and I found it, and I had to search and make sure that it was the regular edition because I'm stupid and I have to have all matching books. So it'll be be right here and it will match them but what's cool about this one is that it is signed so there you have it and I will be reading this one soon this is the last book in the live ship traders trilogy which is the second trilogy in the realm of the elderlings series by Robin Hobb so I'll probably actually be reading it out of this one and then after I'm done I'll be getting rid of this copy and keeping this one this one follows this family that lives in this place called Bingtown and they are an old family they have lived there for a very long time and they're what's called live ship traders they have these ships that once a certain number of family members die on the ship they are awoken they're made out of a a special type of wood and the ships come alive and their figureheads I don't think you can see one on here but their figureheads become alive and they can speak and they can help maneuver the ship and everything like that on top of that it's really just a family drama it follows the Vestrit family is that their name yes the Vestrit family and they just have the hardest time ever it is sometimes the most frustrating I hated some of the characters for the first two books and then in the middle of the second book I was like never mind I love these characters so I am fully invested in this series and I cannot wait to figure out what is going to happen to them. And I know this one is going to be another five star read for me, so bam, that's going to happen soon. After that, I stupidly made a book outlet order because I uh, have no self control and I didn't realize that the Booktube SFF shortlist was about to happen. I would have to get a lot of those books, so I ordered this before those, but you don't care about that. Let's get to the books. I made this order because of the fact that epic fantasy or high fantasy or something like that was on the 50 for 50 off thing so they had 50 titles that were 50 percent off and the book that i wanted was cold iron by stina leaked liked i don't know how to say that this one follows this elf that is a part of the royal family and because he is he's not allowed to perform any acts of violence but i think he ends up killing someone so then he, he loses his status or whatever and i think he joins the army or something like that but it is a flintlock fantasy where they have guns but i am curious to see how the magic and the guns and the elves versus the humans will all come together i've not heard amazing things about this but i'm still very intrigued and i really want to know what what it's about so I ended up picking it up for like a dollar and fifty cents or something like that I will probably be doing a review on this when I finish it but that won't be for some time now the next book I picked up from book outlet is gonna be unbound by Neil Schusterman this so I think this is some short stories that were written by a bunch of different people mainly Neil Schusterman as well as his sons contribute to it but I think it follows some different characters and just the world after the final book in the Dystology, the fourth book. So I will be seeing what has been going on in this world after the series was over. I also picked up Shattered Sky by Neil Schusterman. This is the third book in the Star Shards Chronicles. I've read the first book and I haven't read the second one yet, but I do own it. And this was like the last one that they had in stock. So I wanted to pick it up before they didn't have any more. The first one, I think it follows five different people and they all are dying and they're dying in different ways. But with them dying, they've also developed superpowers. And so they are trying to figure out what is happening and how they can stop themselves from dying and what that all entails. It also explores differences in culture and races and everything like that. I really enjoyed the first one. I think I gave it four stars or something around there, three and a half stars. So I am looking forward to seeing where that storyline and that thought process and everything like that will continue because the first one 
ended very well, so I'm curious to see how he will continue the story in the next two books of the trilogy. I also picked up The Circle of Lies, which is the second book in the Hunters of Chaos series by Crystal Velasquez. This one follows four different girls that are from four different ancient cultures. One of them is Mayan, one of them is Chinese, one of them is of African descent, and I can't remember where the other one is from, but all of them are able to turn into big cats and then they try to fight evil and everything like that. It's very girl power, very we can do this kind of thing, and I'm reading this because I'm hoping that the series continues to be very good and I can recommend it to middle grade readers. I picked up the last book in the Chronicle of the Unhewn Throne series by Brian Stavely, which is The Last Mortal Bond. I have really enjoyed this series. I think I read the first two four and a half stars each or something like that it follows three children of the Emperor after the Emperor is murdered and they're all trying to keep the throne in the family it's very interesting I'm very excited to read this third book and see how it concludes it is big though it is a lot bigger than the other two but I'm looking forward to it and I will let you guys know what I think when I read it as I have said with all of these books I also got the first book in the Draconis Memoria series by Anthony Ryan that is the waking fire. I have not finished the Raven Shadows trilogy. I made it 150 pages into the third book and I stopped, so I need to go back and finish that eventually. I just was not feeling it at the time. This one seems very interesting. It has dragons and there are these people that kill dragons and use their blood to be able to perform magic and everything like that. The bloodlines are weakening and so the powers that people get from the blood are weakening, but there's a rumor that there's this other type of dragon that people haven't been using for magic and and then it follows a character who's on a journey to try to find that other type of dragon and I guess harness the power of its blood. It's another thick epic fantasy series but I love those so I will be reading this one at soon hopefully. I've heard some mixed things but I think that I'm gonna really like it. And the second to last book that I got for this haul which I just whatever so ridiculous is the shotgun arcana by rs belcher this is the second book in the i don't know what the series is called but the first book is called the six gun tarot and i read that one what two years ago now i think and i still remember a lot of the things that happen it's a weird western fantasy where this small town has all of these people in it that have different fantasy things going on with them i think one guy can turn into a fox or something like that and this other guy is keeping his his wife in a jar like I think her brain is in a jar or maybe her body's in a jar I don't remember so much on that but like there is just some weird stuff going on it might be called something about Golgatha because that's the name of the town I don't know but I wanted to continue along with the series and I wasn't sure when I was going to but when I saw it on book outlet I was like okay I'll continue it now. And the last book in this haul is going to be The Gigantic Beard That Was Evil by Stephen Collins. I've heard such amazing things about this. The artwork is, is pretty simple. I was expecting something a little bit more, but I'm hoping to really enjoy the story when I get to it. And we'll see if I agree with the majority of people that this is awesome. So those are all the books that I acquired in the month of February as well as the 1UP box unboxing. If you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below on any of the books that I got. Which one should I read sooner rather than later? Have you read any of them? What were your thoughts on them? I just am so overwhelmed with the number of books that I need to read. This was weird. I was not planning to get this many. Book buying will definitely slow down again and I'm gonna be more under control and I'm gonna read hashtag my own damn books. I will talk to you guys next time.